Welcome to the Mysterious Accent channel. Would you ever date your son's best friend? Well, this is Tanya. She's 40 years old and she's in a relationship with Josue. He's only 22. The age gap alone would already be enough to shock some people. However, what's really shocking is that they've met through Tanya's son and her son has almost the same age as Josue. They've met in 2019 when her son was 18 and Josue was 19. She fell in love with 22 year old Josue. The couple met through Tanya's son, sparking much controversy about their age gap relationship. I think women have the rights to date whoever they want. After all, men do this kind of thing all the time. Leonardo DiCaprio, for example, is always dating younger women. Still, it doesn't really change the fact that this is kind of weird. Especially when your son has the same age of your boyfriend and they are best friends. We met around the end of 2018. We met through my sons. The couple met through Tanya's teenage son. We met when I was dropping my sons off at his house one day. Yeah, people were literally saying like, oh, RIP your son. So I was watching this and I was really waiting to see what her son had to say about it. But he didn't say anything throughout the entire video. They just show a couple of images of him playing video games. I don't know if this is poor journalism or if the boy is avoiding talking about the situation. Maybe the boy is shy and he doesn't want to talk to the cameras, but honestly I think he's ashamed of the whole situation. Because I think this is an awful situation for her son. I think it's super awkward for him to talk about it. So he's probably just avoiding the topic. Because this couple is trending on TikTok, you know, they're very famous there. Because she keeps posting stuff there all the time. So her son is probably tired of having to deal with it every day. The pair began posting about their relationship online and their unusual romance went viral. I made a simple little video, everybody lost their minds and it blew up overnight. I really feel sorry for her son because not only he has to deal with it, but he also has to see this every day on the internet. Just try to imagine if it was you. Let's let's just try to imagine here. Try to remember who was your best friend when you were 18. Try to remember him or her and now try to imagine him or her dating your father or your mother. How would you feel about it? I think it would be extremely awkward for me. I would pack my stuff and I would run away from the house, you know? All also, let's reverse the genders here just for a minute because sometimes when you reverse the genders, the situation becomes even more weird. Imagine if it was a man, a 40 years old man dating an 18 years old woman whose best friend is his daughter. Yeah, that's how weird the situation is. And funny enough, she doesn't even recommend age gap relationships. I don't necessarily recommend age gap relationships for other people. I don't. Only if it's meant to be. Yes, but it works for us. So yeah, do as I say, not as I do. I think she has a very childish mind because I went to her TikTok to see videos about this couple and it looks like she's always doing the exact same thing that other teenagers are doing. Problem is, she's not a teenager. Because if you are a teenager, it's fine for you to do teenager stuff. But if you are a grown woman like this one and you're still doing teenager stuff, well, this kind of shows that she has a very childish mind and maybe that's the reason why she's dating him because she's always trying to follow absolutely every trend on TikTok. For example, do you remember that ghost filter trend that was very popular on TikTok a few weeks ago? Basically younger moms around 20 were using a, a ghost filter to scare their children. I did a video about this a few weeks ago. It was basically a very stupid trend, you know, scaring children for views. And well, she tried to do this with her boyfriend as well because because she's always trying to follow absolutely every trend. So yeah, this is one of her TikToks, you know, and her TikTok is full of this kind of things. Her TikTok is full of videos of those dances. Basically, she tries to do everything that very young women are doing. Like, we, we gotta, gotta make going. TikToks, we, we gotta, gotta keep, keep going. going. One of my favorites, this one right here. So 
So yeah, she's always doing stuff that teenagers or very young women, women around 20 years old at most are doing. So maybe she's trying to be forever young or maybe she's doing it for the views. But I don't think so because even before this couple was famous, she was already uploading teenager stuff on her TikTok. So yeah, my theory about this is that she has this very teenager childish mind and that's the reason why I think she has fallen in love with the guy. I think she really loves the guy. Not long ago, Tanya was also surprised with a question and she said yes. My plan for the future is to get big in music and take her out of here and move somewhere else <laughs> and just live healthy and wealthy pretty much. I'm just, I'm gonna make it one day. So okay, now I have a theory about the guy. I always have a theory about those weird couples that I find on the internet. So I think he's using her to become famous because he said he wants to be big in the music industry and he's getting a lot of views with this situation. So maybe he's using this relationship to accomplish his goal because if he gets famous enough, maybe his music is also gonna become famous because I think this relationship is legit on her part. I think she really likes the guy, but I'm not so sure about him. I think he was just looking for a different experience and and then she posted a TikTok about him, then it went viral, and now he's using the situation to accomplish his goal, which is to be big in the music industry. But that's only what I think. What do you guys think? I think it's a very interesting story, but it's a very weird couple. And I really feel sorry for her son. Honestly, I don't know why he's still living in the same house. And they also mentioned that she also has other small kids living in the same house. But I think the small kids, they don't really care about the situation. Because usually these very small kids, they see adults as old people. You know, they don't care if it's a 20 year old guy or a 40 year old guy they are all very old people in the minds of the very small kids so i don't think they get bothered by the situation at all but her older son i think this one is suffering a lot actually they mentioned two older sons but they only show one so i think one of them has already left and i'm pretty sure the other one is gonna leave as soon as he can so yeah that's it for today my name is mysterious accent and if you like this content consider subscribing to my channel because i upload videos like this almost every day so i see you in the next video